Greetings to members and friends of the Autism Society. My name is Elizabeth Bonker. I am one of the estimated 31 million people with autism who cannot speak to communicate. I type on a keyboard, and you are listening to my words spoken by a computer. I was born healthy and spoke until I was 15 months old when my words were inexplicably taken from me. I started ABA when I was two and a half years old, 30 hours per week for three years with a coordinator from a nationally recognized provider in a home-based program. My therapists were all kind to me and tried hard to help me organize my body and deal with my overwhelmed sensory system. However, ABA went terribly wrong for me when I entered the public school ABA program. The teacher did not believe in my capabilities. She put my programs back to touch your nose and look at me. As I got more upset and frustrated, it got harder to touch the right answers. My mind knew which card was the elephant, but my disobedient body touched the giraffe. I started to have self-injurious behavior 70% of the day. The ABA teacher had the data to prove it. I remember my mother saying, Don't you think she is trying to tell you something? Thank God, about that time, my grandmother saw a woman on 60 Minutes using a letterboard with her non-speaking son. We booked our flight, and my life changed in every way. I finally had a voice. And what happened when we brought the news of my joyous rebirth back to my ABA team? The therapists rejoiced. Our ABA coordinator said, in private, she was thrilled for me, but that in public she would have to denounce it, or she would lose her job and certification. You see, her ABA organization could not support this intervention because it was not evidence-based. Wasn't I enough evidence? Do you ask a deaf person who uses sign language to give evidence that it works? No. Spelling and sign language are communication methods. They are not teaching methods like ABA. We have nothing to prove. But if you would like to see research, look up the 2020 University of Virginia eye tracking study published in Nature that demonstrates agency in assisted autistic communication. The numbers of spellers and typers are growing rapidly and the professional organizations that seek to deny us this basic human right will be on the wrong side of history. We also have the law on our side. The Americans with Disabilities Act guarantees effective communication for all. Now back to my story. We visited my spelling teacher many more times that year and we also trained an aide to spell with me. Yes, for many non-speakers, Typing requires the help of someone who has learned how to assist us. That's not a reason to keep us silent all our lives. At the end of that year, the IEP team told my parents that they unanimously agreed I should stay in the ABA classroom because I was not ready for kindergarten. My mother responded, I agree. She is not ready for kindergarten. She will go into first grade. My mother knew my right to an education in the least restrictive environment, but more importantly, she had the trained aide who believed in me and would be by my side for 14 years. Those first couple of years were not easy. There were times she needed to take me out of the room when I was overwhelmed. But my first grade teacher called me a hidden treasure and recommended me for the gifted program. My journey since ABA hasn't been without its setbacks. Middle school is traumatic for most kids, and it is more so for those affected by autism. On top of that, I was exposed to strep and diagnosed with pandas. My autoimmune system was attacking my brain. We went to doctor after doctor, and, finally, I started to feel better. It took 18 months to return to school. I am now a senior in the honors program at Rollins College. I have just been notified that I am a valedictorian, and I am honored that my fellow students have selected me to give the commencement address. Rollins is the alma mater of Mr. Rogers, and its motto is life is for service. My life mission is communication for all. I believe all non-speaking people with autism can be taught to spell or type. We must change the way the world sees non-speakers. Educators must presume competence. Non-speaking does not mean non-thinking. Even though we may watch cartoons to calm ourselves, and may not be able to control our bodies, we understand everything going on around us and, more importantly for society we can contribute. The CDC estimates 40% of people with autism are non-speaking. Given only ABA, I would have remained locked in a silent cage. 
I would now like to play a song I wrote about what that feels like. Welcome to my silent cage. Welcome to my silent cage. Can you feel my simmering rage? The world thinks I got nothing to say. They want me to stay the way. They say I'm out of control, but they don't see my soul. The world is overwhelming me. Can't you please set me free? Set me free, set me free, set me free. Please set me free. Step inside my silent cage Can't you see I'm on a stage The world says I can't think It's pushed me to the brink They say I'm lost and dumb The stairs say I'm less than scum No voice, no choice From lowered expectations Free from futures I can't pick Free from dejection and rejection Free from fits of smashing rage Free from pity and despair Free from my silent cage I didn't write that song just for me. I'm one of the lucky few who has been taught to type. I wrote it for the millions who needlessly suffer in silence, forgotten by the world. Please don't forget my brothers and sisters. Join us in creating a world with communication for all. Email me at elizabeth at communicationforall.org. Thank you.